I had a, a message from John. Uh, you know, he, he lives not a million miles away from me. I hadn't heard anything from him. It was lovely to hear from him. And, and John, if you're listening, I hope you're in good health. Um, he mentioned some of some the uh, stuff that called with me. He's trying to make his own videos. Um, and I remember when I first started, and he, he said he's exactly the same thing. It's so difficult to paint and talk at the same time when you try and do a commentary. It's like when you start first learning to drive and the driving instructor's trying to talk to you. You, you just want him to shut up so you can concentrate on the road. And so what I used to do was just play music in the background. Um, I know it's not, it's not perfect, but um, we, it will come with practice. Um, I think I did music, then I started doing a few subtitles. Um, just putting the basic, just the basic colours and what I was, what I was using. Um, but basically, the, the best advice I can give is just the same as anything, just keep practising. And eventually, as you're painting, you'll, the, 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 the commentary will just come naturally. Oh, another um, uh, obvious way of doing it is to just record the commentary after you've done the video. You'd need some sort of it's very simple video editing. Um, program. I mean, I've, I've, just, I've done that in the past um, sometimes for um, if, if there's someone, basically, if a member of the family's right next to me and I can't concentrate properly, sometimes I'll just do the painting and do re record the commentary afterwards. Um, especially like during the school holidays and stuff, you never get any time to yourself. Um, so, yeah, pro probably the easiest thing to do, my suggestion would be to record the commentary afterwards. It's coming down quite heavy now. So I think that's some kind of, is it a hawk around the trees?